So once they're named finalists, the fun begins. I think it's when you get to the job fair that you really have the ability to affect your own destiny. You're both a buyer and a seller at the same time. I think I had 13 interviews. Don't wait for the job fair. It's really important to start you know, looking at the PMF website, seeing what different opportunities are available, reaching out to the PMF coordinators. A lot of times people have interviews set up before the job fair or even at the job fair long before they step through that door. And so that prep time and that outreach I think is really important for students. So once, and then we also, I say get in touch with alumni, you know, talk to the people who've done this before. We hold a brown bag session for them so that they really understand. Because the job fair can be a little bit of craziness. And I think it's really important for students to understand what they're about to step into. If you think you're simply going to be able to walk up to the State Department's desk and ask for an interview, they're all going to be filled um, even before the career fair takes place. So what you need to be doing is um, looking at the PMF's website at all of the positions that are being listed, find out which ones are available, go ahead and be applying for those, and hopefully um, interviews will be scheduled before you even go to the career fair. You may find yourself with many different job opportunities, and it's truly uh, inspiring in the sense that one day you, know, you could literally go from a future in which you are an intelligence analyst to a future when you are a forest ranger. Uh, in, in the span of two 15-minute interviews, uh, that can also be terrifying. It can also be nerve-wracking. Um, and so this is going to sound simple, but I, I think it's most important in the interview that you come through as your authentic self, right? I, I just don't believe that there's one sort of archetype for the people that are hired as PMFs. That's not been my experience. I've hired PMFs. I've made through the PMF process. It, it's really important that you're true to yourself and, and that you're able to tell your story you know, that elevator speech in a succinct fashion, but, uh, but not sort of conform to what you think the model of the ideal PMF is, whether that's wearing a, a Navy suit or a charcoal suit with a very polished 30-second pitch about a time when you showed leadership experience. You know, it, it's better to just be you. I, I actually came into the PMF application with some assumptions based on my previous internships and exposure to federal agencies. And while they are all positive, when I came to the actual job fair, I met so many new people and were introduced to agencies that I hadn't previously interacted with that I ended up uh, sort of reevaluating in the midst of the job fair some of my preferences and my assumptions, uh, so much so that I actually accepted a position that I didn't predict or even scout out prior to coming to the job fair. Uh, so my, my um, advice would be, you know, don't kind of get tunnel vision and, and just lock into, well, I'm, in, I'm interested in international relations, so I'm going to go to the State Department. There's, there's a, a lot of agencies, and in, in an agency, you can uh, do a lot of things, and they will hire different, different skills than what might be implied by their name. Um, in addition, I would recommend really knowing why you're applying for a certain agency. Not only are you going to get asked that invariably in the interview, but I think it is important for an applicant to understand why they're looking at a certain agency. Is it the mission? Is it the job duties that you'd be performing? Is it both? Really be able to articulate an answer to that question about why you're interested in the agency, and I think that'll help you out in the end. And I would say at the job fair, my biggest tips are be self-motivated, despite the fact that the Forest Service does do some outreach to people they think would be good fits. I never would have been outreached to by the Forest Service because I'm not a degree that they were necessarily looking for. And so it was me finding a job and being proactive in that, in that outreach that helped me to get a position. So I would absolutely say be, be proactive, um, be professional in all of your communications. Your emails are your cover letters, and that's an important thing to remember. So the question I got asked in every interview was, why do you want to work for the federal government? And so I got my answer down to that very quickly. Um, and I think it's just important to be able to say what you'd like to be doing when you get into the PMF program so that the agency can really picture you succeeding there. Um, I would say dress professionally. This is a job fair, but definitely have a little bit of personality. It is a sea of black suits when you walk into that job fair. And so any way that you can help to make yourself stand apart whether it's through your personality or a way you're presenting yourself, I would absolutely recommend. And I would also say, when you get to that job fair, beeline towards the table that you think you're most excited about, because interview slots will fill up fast. 
And I think my last piece of advice for navigating the whole process would be to pay careful attention to how the agency is, is presenting themselves and recruiting. I think it says a lot about what your, your fellowship will be like. There's also been a lot of our um, PMFs who we've selected who said, you know, I didn't never consider the Forest Service, but when I went to the job fair and I saw um, the strength of the PMF program there, um, I was really intrigued and sold with it, even though my background is not, I mean, I'm not a, in forestry or I'm not in wildlife management, um, you know, not the traditional um, disciplines. Um.